We were here one afternoon and it took a week to get over the bites. Last summer is one that residents of Fort Langley won't soon forget. You're just you're spending the whole time with your friends doing this. Oh no, I won't come here and I probably won't come here in a month. Hordes of mosquitoes descended on the area with some residents deciding the best way to avoid itchy bites was to stay indoors. It's something one councillor is hoping to avoid this year. Um, there were some weeks where if you're outside going for a walk, you could you could have, you know, 30 mosquito bites by the time you got back. People just didn't go outside. Township of Langley Councillor Margaret Kunst is suggesting a more aggressive approach to mosquito removal. That would include launching a supplementary spraying program in addition to mosquito control already provided by a contractor and would target mosquito eggs near the river. They do spray. It's really probably impossible to get to everything. So that's why I think ground crews are needed. Murrow Bioscience is Metro Vancouver's nuisance mosquito control provider. Owner Dirk Lewis says their team sweeps several municipalities with non-toxic pesticides on the ground and by air. He says while additional spraying could help, it ultimately comes down to the river levels and the temperatures. Last year, one of the issues that we had is that we had a lot of water that came out late into a really warm system. So... Uh, lots of larvae produced because lots of flood water. We do treat the mosquitoes on a small scale by ground until the water gets to the point where we need the helicopters. When it comes to avoiding the itch, businesses are already selling repellent and residents and visitors have their own ways to avoid being bit. We can all protect ourselves by using like uh, peppermint, different uh, agents like that. Council will consider the motion later this month. Charanjit Parmar, CBC News, Vancouver.